Greetings, I'm Bill Kovaleski, co-founder, co-brewmaster of Victory Brewing Company, and with me is Adam Bartles. Hi, I'm Adam, director of brewing operations. We're very fortunate today to have some of our Oak Horizontal in our hands. One of the two beers is going to be a part of the Beer Dreamer package. It's just an absolutely luscious beer that we'd love to tell you more about. In our processes, we're using only American oak in bourbon barrels that have been charred for bourbon. And the primary reaction that, you're, that you have during barrel aging is oxidation. Um, that has to do with the, the porosity of the oak, so you have oxygen actually getting into the beer. But in this case, uh, we're looking for the actual flavor from the bourbon. The process itself is enhancing and, and layering on top of existing flavors, new flavors. So you're looking for a relationship in the existing product, in this case, our old horizontal barley wine, and a synergy that's going to exist with what was in the barrels previously and the interaction of the barrel. When you're leaching tannins and vanillins from the oak itself, you have to think ahead and ensure that those are going to be flavors that are going to work very symbiotically and attractively with the beer itself. Our Baltic Thunder, which is the base porter that goes into our Red Thunder, is in itself a warming, rich, cocoa-ish type of beer with uh, dark qualities to it, dark color, which gives you that baker's chocolate cocoa character I just referred to. So in our minds, what we were hoping to do is enhance that flavor with a whole new characteristic. And we thought of wine barrels specifically Cabernet barrels, um, where we were hoping to get a little bit of the fermentation musk, we were going to get a little bit of the sharp tannins of the grape, the tannins of the wood, to layer over top of it a little bit more initial sharpness, which would then segue into the cocoa characteristics and the sweetness of its final beer. There's a couple of reasons that these beers should be enjoyed with food, and, and one I'm not going to shy away from, they're very strong beers. Um, we're talking about 8.5% and nearly 11% in our oak horizontal. And so therefore, having a food component that really sort of works with the conversation and a little bit of sobriety while you're enjoying them is a good decision. And uh, that's why we've really been happy to connect your dreamer and our friends from Metropolitan Bakery to come up with some after dinner type foods, uh, slightly on the sweet side but not overlooking the savory. Um, and I think that snacking foods and beers of this size seem to make, have a greater affinity than a real heavy meal mug. I think that a great pairing would be the, the Oak Horizontal and uh, our popcorn, our bourbon infused popcorn. Um, in this you can look for the, the vanilla aspect from the bourbon that is in the popcorn to meld very well with all of the complexity and, and the bourbon flavor that you're going to find in this beer, as well as the caramel in the popcorn, and you have a very complex maltiness that sustains the oxidation in the barrel aging process to become very complex and, and very caramel in itself. So this collection of sweet desserts is really fantastic with the Red Thunder because it's really well conceived. What we have is a sour cherry sea salt cookie. Um, so there's going to be sharpness to the sour cherry, and there's going to be the warmth and richness of the cookie itself. Very analogous to the way this beer is going to hit your palate, because you're going to have the sharp tannins of the secondary wine fermentation, and then you're going to have the uh, sweetness of the malt and the darker roasted malts that are within this beer. This uh, dark biscotti with the uh, nuts added to it as well, um, really dovetails beautifully into the caramely, and uh, chocolate biscuit characteristics that are existing in this beer. Cheers and happy holidays from Beer Dreamer.